Hello guys and welcome to episode 14 of my Vistula campaign in Stir Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Previously we made our defences against the Soviet attacks and now we need to solidify where we want to attack their front line. Uh, previously I was saying how I was going to give it a little break and then come back and work out where we were going to attack and I think I've got a couple places I know that I'd like to attack, the first being of course on the left hand side. We did already talk about attacking the 109th Tank Brigade. And I'm definitely going to be doing that this time around to make sure that those T-34s are gone for good. So we just got to work out the best way in which to do so. And honestly, I'm kind of tempted to just push across with the 1st Battalion of the Panzer Regiment 27. That will allow me to have the 1st Battalion of the Panzer Regiment 27 right in front of the 107th Tank Brigade and the 60th Guards Tank Brigade. So... I think that's what we're going to do. We'll have those be the initiator. And we'll bring in, of course, some infantry to back that up. Because there are going to be units that can reinforce in Phase A. I should probably double check what can reinforce. So they've got the 60th Guards Motorized Rifle Battalion, which can bring in some 2 stars, this 3s and, and 20, 45 mil, sorry, AT guns. They've also got a couple of Motorized Rifle Brigades or Motorized Rifle Battalions here, uh, which are pretty small relatively insignificant. I've got a few flamethrowers in there. The 6th Guards Motorized Battalion. All of the Phase B stuff is pretty inconsequential other than maybe the 3rd Guards Tank Corps which does have, this is the HQ section, it does have a few T-34, 85, 1943s. They're actually 1944s um, and then it has plenty of Katyushas of course as well as the 120mm mortars. Okay, um, I think what we're going to do, yeah, we'll, we'll use the Panthers, we'll use the infantry, and we'll use the aircraft. So I'll probably bring in something to cover the skies. I think the 1st Battalion of the 51st Fighter Wing will do just nicely. It's kind of tempted to bring in more infantry, though, if I'm completely honest, because the 1st Battalion of the Panzer Regiment 27 doesn't have any, does it? No. It might actually be worth using the 2nd Battalion of the 73rd Panzer Grand Regiment instead. Uh, I reckon we can make it work. Let's just use the 1st Battalion of the Panzer Regiment 27. I definitely want those to be the one next to these two units. So we'll tactical battle. Ah, oh, never mind. They didn't even defend. Cool. Well, that's going to leave the 1st Battalion of the Panzer Regiment 27 in a decent spot. Uh, now we need to look at where else we can attack. So, I could, in theory, destroy the 1,239th Tank Destroyer Regiment now. Might not be a bad idea, and we can go straight in with the Infantry Regiment, the 1st Battalion of the Infantry Regiment 170, and the 2nd Battalion of the 73rd Panzergram Regiment. Yeah, we could also bring in the 73rd Fusilier Battalion, which would be quite nice. They'd reinforce with the 3rd Guards Tank Corps HQ. I don't think those would be able to use their reinforcements or their, sorry, fortifications because they're not adjacent. So I think we can probably make this work. The 73rd Fusilier Battalion would be pretty useful because it does have the Fusiliers which provide the recon, especially for things like these Katyushas. I'm definitely going to have to stay on the move though, make sure I'm using healthy units for the most part. Yeah, I'm a little concerned that they might bring in some aircraft, but... Oh, they're not even going to defend those either. Okie dokie then. Uh, so probably best we just dig in that unit, and then we kind of move these forwards to back up our tanks if needs be. I mean, this unit can probably defend itself quite well on the defense. But um, probably want to get some units forwards. Now, this is actually kind of overextended my... Panthers a little bit. That's not so good. Hmm. Well, we'll definitely move these up. I don't know what I want to do with the 5th SS Tank Destroyer Battalion. I guess we can move that next to the 1st Battalion of the Panzer Regiment 27. 73rd Infantry Division HQ. That can probably move up a bit. I want to move it too far up because the 3rd or the 60th Guards Mitrides Rifle Battalion could initiate 
well, all of these actually can initiate next turn anyway, so yeah, we don't want to move too far up. I can, in fact, bombard these guys, I think. We'll take them out of play, and then that will allow me to move these closer. Cool. All right, over here, I'm probably going to bombard the... Hmm, let's see. Probably worth taking out the guards. Because they've got the shiny AT guns, the ones with the two-star veterancy. We'll bombard those. On the left side, uh, we can bombard the 107th tank brigade. And can I bombard this one as well, the 58th guards tank brigade? I think I can. Yep, good stuff. Okay, so um, these guys we don't need to attack. Uh, this looks all okay across the front. We'll keep those all dug in. This is going to be a little bit precarious. But I can probably hold in phase A with the 2nd Battalion of the 73rd Panzer Grand Re Regiment plus an aircraft unit. And then we can bring in our own reinforcements afterwards. Curious about deploying the AA, but I think I'm just going to move these up. And we'll deploy the AA there next turn. This 3rd Battalion of the 1st AB Panzergrand Regiment. Hmm. I think I'm going to move them all the way up to the right, maybe, or into this gap. It's not a bad idea. Because we do have this one that can move forwards. Okay, cool. Can also bombard the 3rd Battalion, the 28th Motorized Rifle, or Guards Motorized Rifle Brigade. Uh, that's going to stop them from trying to encircle us a bit more. I'll leave the rest where they are. It looks like our turn's done here. We didn't actually get any fights out of this, which is unfortunate, but uh, we've done well to destroy our tank brigade and the self uh, well the tank destroyer battalion as well. So yeah, good stuff. We do actually have plenty of points. Uh, we've got the tanks available to bring in. The AB Panzer Regiment. These are just reserve Panzer IVs. Anything else we can bring in? The 4th Bomber Wing. What does this consist of? Is this just more J-87s? It's ground attack. Do we get any... No. Uh, I was thinking if we got any AT ones, that'd be pretty good, but I guess they're fine. Bring that in. And uh, yeah, we may as well bring these in as well. Um... I think we can only reinforce on the left, can't we? So yeah, we'll bring those out of Warsaw. The icons for these are a little deceiving, because this one doesn't have a single panther. And I guess this one's fine. But this also doesn't have a HE-111. You're about a bit confused there, I think. Anyway, um, yeah, the left side's looking good. Um, we've pretty much sorted everything there. Now, uh, the next attack that I was looking at doing was up here against the 51st Tank Brigade bringing up the Tigers and Panthers to take those on. But I'm a little unsure as to why I want to bring in. So I would bring in the Engineer Battalion, but they're not very good because they use Pioneers, Sturm Pioneers and so on. We have like no infantry AT. Well, what infantry do we get with these? We get, yeah, similar stuff like Pioneers, Sturm Pioneers, etc. So we're going to need some like longer range infantry and infantry that has AT as well. So yeah, these Grenadiers with Panzerfaust are quite nice. I think they can come in phase A. Or we can bring in the 46th Panzer Corps HQ, which gives us Spielverband. Now that's, of course, Panzerschrecks. I mean, that's something. But at the same time, it doesn't really give us much in the way of like ranged infantry. We will bring in the AA to this fight, I think, as well. Get those AT-8s on the front. I think we're going to make this attack. All right, let's bring in the 3rd Battalion of the AA Regiment. How are we going? I don't know if I want them to be first, actually. Let's uh, put these in first, then those, and then I think this unit. Yeah. Because if they don't reinforce with these, we'll probably attack them anyway with the units that are left over here. 
But I reckon the 3rd Battalion of the 57th is going to come in. And probably the 103rd Motorized Rifle Battalion from a distance, maybe. Uh, or they just won't reinforce. One of the one of the three options there. Okay, let's tactical battle. Yeah, they brought in both. Okay. Uh, let's jump on in. I wonder what map we'll get, because... Panthers and Tigers are probably better at like range. We don't really want a close range engagement because our 88s and Tigers won't be very useful. We have got Lyakovici. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Now this is both a good map and a bad map. It's good because, of course, there's a ton of open ground, but... In order to get to the open ground, and especially exploit the open ground, we've got to fight through quite precarious terrain. There's a lot of side shot potential here from AT guns. Yeah, this is going to be pretty rough, actually. So, I'm definitely going to bring in my 88s from the start. We'll have them kind of sort of build a baseline, I guess, that we push from. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Just going to move that forwards and unload. We'll just kind of have these across the board. Because they only cost one point each. And they can pop E34s for days. So I think it's worth having a few of these in. And if I can get them into the correct positions, uh, they could do a lot of damage. Uh, so for example, there's a position here where I can, yeah, I can pretty much cover this entire right road. And I think there's a position, like, say, here, where we could cover, like, the left and the bridge, which would be really good. So we're going to unload that and kind of push with those. I'm going to need units to cover it. I'm probably not going to bring in my tanks just yet. We can bring in an MG, of course. Do that. Let's get some infantry. We'll get some grenadiers. Okay, cool. They can spread out, and we can push from there. Probably want to bring in a few more, but I need to be a bit sparing with my infantry because we don't have that much of it. Uh, we do have some of the pioneers and stuff. These pioneers will actually be useful on the left, so let's do that. Uh, we'll have... Actually, let's bring a Grenadier with those as well. Because the Grenadier has the Panzerfaust, so if we bump into anything at close range, then we can pop it with that. Like any armor, that is. Because there could be basically T-34s in any of this light cover anywhere. It's kind of weird, like... Pushing up on this left side is actually going to be really difficult because of all of the ambush points. Get some mouth clutter. Like, having some recon is actually going to be super important. I don't know exactly where I want to put them, though. Yeah, same deal here. We'll just unload them early. Get that recon in position. Alcala on the right side as well. I'm going to need a couple of infantry to go through here. Uh, let's go for like two pioneers and hmm, grenadier. Actually, that's a little bit dodgy. I might just unload them here because if there's any AT guns up on this light cover, they could snipe our transports. We've got to be really careful. I didn't expect this actually to be a breakthrough attack for us. I thought it'd be more of a conquest battle. So it's kind of thrown me off a bit of how I'm going to attack this. Don't really have much in the way of like artillery. Like we've got mortars, I guess. We could we could set up a lot of mortars early. I could do that, I suppose. If we sort of create a little mortar battery on the right side there, one on the left. And then we put a couple of bullets down with those. Put them on fire at will. That might work. Do we have any 120 more mortars? We do have a couple. We'll deploy those in the center. And should have some more Apple Blitz. There we go. Cool. So that's going to use up the majority of our points. I definitely need some infantry to protect these 88s. So we'll bring in a couple of Grenadiers here, a couple here. And I think I had enough for the left side, but we're going to need a couple to push across here. So we'll unload those. I should really have some here as well, but 
We'll launch the battle, see how it goes. This is one of those situations where I'm very much wanting to get the battle underway and kind of assess what we're up against before I really commit too many forces. Because otherwise it's going to get pretty awkward. Okay, so these can start pushing across like so. We'll have the 88 kind of follow that up. Doing okay here. Let me just unload those. Unload the grenadiers. Cool. We're going to unload these. Oh shit, I lost the cubal on the right. What was that? Alpclara, I think. Oh no, it's the MG42. Oh, that's okay. No biggie. We actually bumped into a T-34-85-1943. Okay, 1943 okay killed the PTRS as well. Probably just as well we unloaded. Right, let's move these over and up like so. Keep the Alpha Cloud of there. Going to move forwards the 88. Okay, these need to push through like so. Okay, 88. No, the... T-34-85 is dead. Right, let's move across with those Panzergrands. We've got them covered with the ATAs. Cool. Yeah, I need some more infantry just here. Let's grab some Grenadiers. One, two, one, two. One, one, two, three, one, two. And then we can eventually get the ATAs up into here as well. I do, of course, have the Tigers and stuff that I can use, but at the moment, I don't think it's necessary. We don't really see that many tanks on the field. We did see the one on the right-hand side. Okay, there's one. What we're going to have to do is probably use the Grenadiers. Well, the Pioneers can kind of just carry on, I think. We are getting a bit of a salient too much ahead of us. Start attack moving forwards with that. Get this to the edge as well, and the app clutter. Move these forwards. I could use the transports of the 88s to spot AT guns, maybe. That's a possibility. Okay, so they're hunting my t my uh, grenadiers there, but we captured that. Well, destroyed that. Not bad. Oh, the 88 just blasting these. Oh my. We found a AT gun there. Okay. Do I have any more 88s? Oh, we basically deployed all of them from the start, didn't we? So, uh, probably going to try and get this up there eventually to cover that left side. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me move the grenadiers over. We'll leave these pioneers in here for now. Making some decent ground. Uh, we'll have that grenadier go hunt down that AT gun because I assume we didn't kill it. What else can we do? Alright, let's push up here. Nice. I right, killed that. Perfect. All right, let's go take that point. Get the AT. Eight into position. Good. Alright, there is a bunch of tanks coming in here. I think I'm gonna bring in at least one tiger there. Oh, there's this three on our left. Shit. Okay, we need the grenadiers to go kill that. Now we'll have these move forwards. These need to just push over to the next side. We made a lot of ground on the left. We've started to make ground on the right as well. Need more infantry for the right, I think. Oh, that infantry died. Falling back. It's okay. We are going to lose quite a lot of stuff, I think, in this particular battle. This is going to be a pretty rough one. And that close range, I'm not a big fan of these T-34s. I'm going to hold my, T my Tiger back for the time being.
Okay, let's get the Grenadiers back over to these Pioneers. And hopefully we can kill off that Zis 3. Oh shit. <laughs> There's a shooting across. I mean, maybe I can push out with the eight with the eighty-eight and get a shot off. Hmm. No, maybe not. Okay. So best bet then would be probably Panthers at this range, because the Tigers have less armor, so they get penetrated easier. So I know these to start pushing forwards to that objective as well. Cool. And right, we got, I guess, one eighty-eight here or T thirty-four eighty-five. Cool. That's that's fine. Uh, let's get a few more infantry here because they are pushing up with some infantry. That's okay. And uh, we clean this out so I can actually have this eighty-eight start moving up to here. Uh, this one, we want to go to here eventually, so we can maybe start moving it around. I could in fact get a tank to come here, let's get a tiger to move there ASAP. Alright, the SIS-3 is doing a runner, let's get the 88 to move up to the edge here. Actually, what I could do, we can pick it up again with the SDKZ7 or SDKZ7. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm uh, just going to move through here and try and take out whatever was being mortared. Cool. Now we are making some good ground on top of the recon bike there. There's just so much to pay attention to right now. My 88 die. No, it's still there. I probably don't want to continue that engagement if I'm completely honest. We'll shoot to death those Strauki and I'll get those into cover. Cool. Those Grenadiers need to do a runner if they can. And we're going to need more infantry here because we're going to need something to screen the 88. I'm going to get the MGs up. Yeah, we'll bring MGs. Right, that's going to fall back. And get these 88s start moving forwards. Get the outclutter to move up. Mm, tempting to make those reload, but like pick them up again and move them forwards. But this is like an AT gun or something on the ridge. I mean, this has already been mortared to crap, so there's obviously something there. Um, then, yeah, we would get our 88 killed, which would be really bad. I'm not going to do that. Let's move this Grenadier into cover. Uh, I'm pretty kill whatever that is, probably just a motorcycle. Yep. Okay, probably going to need maybe a couple of Panthers on the right. That's okay. And these, I really want to get them like across the river. Oh, that's uh, not good. There's T-34 close on the left there. If we can get the AT-8 into position, I won't be so worried, but for now, that's not good. Okay. Uh, these two Grenadier squads may as well just run back home. And these three, they need to push through. Oh, my AT-8. Ah, damn it. This, <laughs> this map's so big. Like, having to manage the whole way across is <laughs> a nightmare. I brought in those uh, grenadiers to screen for that, but obviously I um, wasn't able to do it in time. That grenadier needs to fall back. Okay. Uh, these grenadiers need to get into cover. You can start moving these 
the rest of them forwards a bit. We do have a bit of a salient, which is nice. Okay, T-34 got killed as well. It's good. Mortifiers coming down on top of them. Fantastic. These mortars so far have actually been really, really useful. Oh, this isn't good. Nope. Bad, 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 bad. I want another 88 dying because I wasn't paying attention. What else do I have to back this up? Grenadiers, Grenfjörder. Could do with some Grenfjörder across. Actually, that wouldn't be too bad of an idea. That's another T-34. We can engage that with the Panthers. Um. Okay, all of these units are getting absolutely annihilated. Hopefully we can get them into position sooner than later. A lot of tanks. <laughs> uh, let's move forward. With, yeah, we'll move that 88 to the edge. Pop the T-34 there. Uh, I may as well get the Alpha to move all the way up as well. Uh, these need to fall back. I did kill the Zis-3 though, so that's good. I think the Zis-3 was the one doing all the damage. Okay, cool. Oh no, those are getting wrecked, aren't they? They're probably both going to die. Unfortunate. Right, let's get these grenadiers to keep moving up. Good. Nice kill there. Really need to capture some more points sooner than later. I do have plenty of like close range infantry that can probably push up. Wait, does that have a sniper? It does. Right, they need to fall back and we need to give them something to shoot at instead. This MG can go home. Oh yeah, so his pioneer's dead. I didn't make it back. Oh boy, this 88. Taking a beating. Let's just fall back with that. Get this one forwards. Oh, there's a lot of... A lot of tanks coming. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was a penetration. Okay. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. <laughs> That's a lot of T-34s, guys. <laughs> Alright, do I have more tanks? I've got another Panther I can bring in. Okay, good. This 88 killed one of them. <clears throat> Something died. Or unloaded. Oops. Alright, this is 88 still alive. Let's get it into cover. Start moving this one across the open a bit more. Okay, this one could probably push all the way up to here, actually. Uh, when this push one pushes back out, I could probably kill those T-34s. Oh, these Grenadiers are in trouble. Mm, that's not good. Yeah, the biggest issue we're actually having with this is, in fact, infantry and lack of on our part. At least I didn't use any recon. <laughs> so, we managed to kill that. Good. Should be able to kill this T-34 as well. Okay. Alright, let's start pushing it across to the open here. We've really got some work to do. Big time. I'm going to need, like, almost close range tank tiger support. Let's bring these back into cover. Gonna bring up an MG. Get the AT-8 to keep moving forwards. I do have this Tiger. I guess I can move that over here with the Panthers. I'll help them hold the left flank. Get 
This is a yeah, this is a tough old battle. It really is. Let's move up with the grenadiers. Um, no point in letting the 88 just tank that. Try and get some pioneers across the open, I guess. I'll move this one to the right. Cool. And yeah, we're still killing a lot of 88s. Um, couple AT guns over there, apparently. Move into cover. Oh no. I mean, if it was the tiger, if I move the pioneers, they die. So I think we just have to let them f keep firing. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, it might be time to suicide bike, honestly, and see what's around. Because at the moment, I feel like we could take some of these points if I pushed a little harder. But I don't want to like waste anything unnecessarily. I think it was just Stro Stroke in here, so we can probably kill those. Some of the Grenadiers move across the open. Pioneers at close range are going to be good. And we need to get on top of this flag as well. Very good. Those are the Stroke I was worried about. Can I get across the river here? This, this T-34 is causing issues at the moment. I could probably... Is this a new one? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's try and use this one to get across and attack that T-34 from range. Or we do the same here as well. Okay, let's move these forwards. I don't really care about losing the recon units. I could bring up 20 mils, honestly. We could use those to push. They're not too bad. Kind of like infantry squads that can hit at a big old range. I'm going to have to move both these over to the right hand side, I think. And we'll keep the grenadiers here. Cool. That's fine. Oh, that's a lot of tanks. Okay, let's move these back. 88 move forwards. I do have this one as well, so that can help us out. Ah, my Tiger needs to move over here as well. A lot of tanks. Oh, okay, another one there. Okay, let's move the Pioneers back. Yeah, thankfully they're not using too much recon, so that's good. Oh, this has actually run out of shells. Bring up supply. Oh, that's not a good engagement either. Right, this one's damaged. It's going to back off. Okay. I think we killed that tank that was in our way, but these grenadiers shouldn't be engaging from range. Okay, keep moving these up. Move the MG up. Move the Tiger up. Um, I guess I'm going to feel I can move up. Make those three star veterancy. Couple infantry there that we can take care of. Bring up a couple 20 mils for those. Uh, the other thing we need to do is uh, get these mortars to move up. Uh, the silver blitz. After we reload the AT8, we'll probably just. Oops, don't need those. Yeah, after we reload the AT8, we'll go get, get fix that gun, gun jam and get that into position. Little worried about close range engagements here. We're very close to capturing a few objectives here. As soon as the T 34s stop coming in so much on this right side, we can probably move over some grenadiers. I think we can probably try and do it now. Get a few of these grenadiers to try and push over. Because they'll be covered quite well when they try to push. 
Right, let's move that over to the right hand side. We just moved into phase C. We got a lot of points we can spend. But I don't really have enough infantry to spend it on. So I don't really want to bring in stuff unnecessarily. We have a couple of tigers. We can bring in IGs as well. I'm kind of hoping the 20 mils can do the job here. I'm using these like infantry. Yeah, it's working. I'm going to bring in a couple of IGs there as well. Bring in a couple of IGs here. Have these grenadiers start pushing across the open. And that Maxim's actually going to kill my 20 more. Okay. Alright, this one needs to cover that road. Oh, my tiger went down. Shit. Uh, looks like the T-34 has got the better of us there. Okay. I guess I can use a battery fielder. It's a pretty good squad, I guess. Like 10 man. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of battery fielder, actually. We shouldn't, we should use those as our, like, frontline infantry right now. Be pretty handy. Also gives us federacy, of course. It's currently 13 to 13. I need these to get across before any more tanks arrive. I see about moving the path forwards to provide covering fire. Alright, this one should not be moving forwards with three health. Well, I'll move these IGs forwards and I'll move the SDK of Z7s forwards as well. But if you can unload an attack moving forwards on one side, and this one on the other. Oh. Alright, I guess the way to get across here would be probably mortars. So, do I have any more mortars? I do. <clears throat> I really want to kill these T-34s. They are demolishing my grenadiers every time I push. And I think for this kind of engagement, like a minor victory will still be good. And that IG can smash that Sapati in the open. That's going to be good. Nice. Oh, we lost the Grenadier. It's not good. Yeah, I really need these squads to just like run into position, I think. Forget about engaging anything, just carry on. We'll have the 88 move up on the left side and get into position. My Tiger can move across the bridge. I'm a little bit concerned about these ATA guns. I might try and push up a bit further, actually, with the Grenadiers. Might be a bit greedy, but we'll give it a go. I'm, te I'm tempted to just keep these Panthers back. I did lose another Sticky FZ, but that's fine. Okay, have we taken that out? Please just one-shot it. Finally be able to move my units across the open. Do have a couple of Tigers. Let's bring those in. I need to have something to clean up this left side. We'll get the Pioneers in there. Battery Fielder can unload. It's 
fine. We're starting to clean them up, I think, which is good. Okay, AT gun. Cool. Let's move these 20 mils forwards. Keep these back now. No point in losing them unnecessarily. Go pick up this AT-8 and pull it forwards. My motorcycle went down. Don't really care about that. Right, these have really got to hide. So we'll idle them next to the building. This grenadier needs to get into cover. Right, these grenadiers can get in the building. Same with these guys. My grenadier died. Shit. That's 88. Is it gonna get the kill? No, it's not, because it's run out of ammunition. Shit. <laughs> Goodbye, 88. It's been a tough battle, but we're gonna get the main or oh, the minor vi victory, which is I guess good enough. That was a tough battle. That was a really tough battle. Like a really tough fight to break through across the open there. Like that was that was difficult. Um like more tanks really would have made a difference. I guess just more infantry would have been better. Yeah, more infantry. So I could have been a bit more I don't know. A bit more lax on like my pushes, just kind of spread out a bunch of infantry and push forwards in front of my units. I mean, still went at 181 to 18, so can't really complain. <laughs> Um, yeah, the 88s did very, very well. We just, we, we did smash up quite a lot of T-34s. Yeah, a lot, actually. A lot of T-34s. We did lose a Tiger and two 88s for that. Tough battle, but honestly, really enjoyed it. That was fun. I like a good challenge. Now, a lot of you guys, uh, when I'm playing through these campaigns, are like, you're like, why don't you just, you know, take a unit through the front line and go in and circle everything? The reason I don't do that is mainly because, A, it's not very fun, and B, it's just it just feels very cheesy. Um, so, yeah, I like kind of pushing through on the front line as if it were real life, in a sense, kind of emulate real life, where there would be skirmishes all the way along the front and yeah there might be like a concentrated push that we will eventually be able to encircle the enemy with but until then we may as well be fighting so there we go currently five turns in uh we do only have to defend until the 23rd turn but of course that is a long way off a long long way off damn um, right i wish i could move these back because they are in a terrible position uh, they didn't get any movement points left. I mean, I guess I can bring in the ATAs. I, w I wanted to put them as deploy AA. Oh, I still can. Okay. Well, yes, I guess we did. Um, that time was completely unintentional because <laughs> no, I wanted to um, use them to reinforce. But thankfully, the 46th Panzer Corps has two action points, so it can at least reinforce in phase B. Uh, battle group. My, uh, I mean, we could actually do the encirclement on these forces now. Because we can push all the way up the motorway, which is kind of the reason that I wanted to push through the 51st Tank Brigade. And also, it's the reason that the 4th Panzer Battalion is in this position to begin with. So, yeah. I'm going to move down. This There seems to be something in our way. I don't know why. It says I can go here, but I can't. I think the influence of a unit, maybe this unit, is stopping me from getting there. Unless there's tile I just can't use. I don't want to end in range of a unit though, so I'm just going to center those a little bit. Probably be worth attacking this dug-in 50th motorized rifle battalion because it won't get any reinforcements. Yes, the bunkers are going to be annoying, but we can probably break through there. What else? Honestly, I could probably push into some of these units. Like the motorized rifle brigades on their own. We can just hit them pretty hard. Yeah. So we'll start 
sort of pushing through here. But that's going to be in the next episode because unfortunately, guys, it's been my time. Yeah, we're probably going to attack the 3rd Battalion of the 57th Motorized Rifle Brigade. And we'll probably hit the 50th Motorized Rifle Battalion as well. It's kind of tempting to hit the 74th Motorized Rifle or Motorized Battalion, but I don't think we have anything close enough. No, so yeah. The bottom left is done. We're going to continue moving left to right across the front and see what we can do. Okay, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.